I only stopped to look at this one because of the lights and what happens. I was walking, shall we say, from right to left. So initially I could see the rear of this mother and child. I didn't know it was a mother and child, but the light was just the sun. It was a bit, you know, sun shadow. And it was shining on that uh, this stone. And so I was looking at it and thinking, oh, what is it? So I first thought it was a shell of some sort. And then by the time I come to the side, I look and I say, oh, it's a mother and kid. And um, there are a lot of these little, sta I mean, this, this isn't so small, but there are a lot of statues around Amsterdam. And I often bump into them. Maybe I should just do a series on all these funny statues. They're actually, so many of them are quite nice. That are just around, they don't seem to, nobody tells me who made them. It's almost as if when the city was being built at that time, many of them, I think, date to probably the turn or just after the beginning of the 20th century. It was as if that part of making a city meant adding these elements of beauty that said something. So it wasn't political, but it's sort of sometimes religious, but it had, I don't know, you just see these things. You don't see them anymore. What I see, the modern pieces I see today are less, um, they're different. And so this is just one I looked at. Um, stopped saw the kid you see this kid sort of reaching up and this i don't know it just struck me as really cool the funny thing is nowadays this pose of the mother i actually associate with looking at a mobile phone so if you're standing on a platform uh, at any train station or metro station you just look left and right you see everybody hunched over in this way but instead of them having a baby it is a phone that is staring up at them and demanding their attention